This is the part where I would get really angry at Origami for pulling the shit she did last episode. And if this is season one, I'd be like, fuck that bitch! Tobichi more like Tobich! But, but we've seen in season two how much redemption she's had. The existence of DEM made it such that Origami is actually on our side, fighting with the spirits, right? Against the DEM to protect Shido. And she has the utmost loyalty in Shido still. Now, the thing is, I've seen all that, so I will... You know, not be all mad. I'm still on Origami's side. In fact, she's one of my favorite girls now. Even though, if you look at my season one episodes, oh my god, I was a big hater. Now, the really interesting thing with this vengeance plot is the flashback. Because we see that she, she's conflating the light from the heavens coming down as Ifrit who did it. But it's clearly not Kotori that did it. What happened there? In the flashback we saw last episode, Origami was near her parents. Pretty much walking distance. Light comes down, AoE explosion. But she wasn't hurt at all. And that made me think, what's going on here? Am I looking too deep into things? And then I remember last arc with Natsumi. Remember how Natsumi turned everybody into lollies? Except the humans. But Origami also turned. What the fuck does this mean? Are we getting a Kotori repeat right now where she's actually a spirit? What's going on? I don't know. We'll find out in the future episodes. Let's begin. Oh, this guy, oh, this guy acting so cool. Son. He's gonna ruin it, right? He's gonna fucking ruin it. This is kind of... No, it's not too bad. I thought he'd say some more degenerate shit. Now, Kurumi? Anybody? Like, well, Yoshino and Natsumi was not part of the battle against Origami. I think they're still around, but I'm expecting Kurumi to show something. Oh, it's you again. Hey. What's up? We're hungry. Feed us! This isn't no Origami's usual laugh. Natsumi? Not Natsumi, maybe? Wait, Origami wouldn't laugh like this! This is so weird seeing Origami's body act like this. Yeah, here it is. Natsumi and Yoshino. Hello! I'm glad that they're here to save us, but I wanted Kurumi to show up. Bro, it's fucking seven episodes in. Oh, oh hey, hey! It's, it's seven episodes in, still no Kurumi! Is she not just gonna show up this season? They are nerfed, but it is still like 1v4. Kind of crazy, huh? I don't know. What if you're a spirit too? Ah! No, you wouldn't. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? You, you're, not, you're not actually going to kill Yuzuru right now. Oh? No, you wouldn't. With the smile on her face? She's too strong. This suit, this new tech is obscenely OP. Oh. <laughs> Whenever you see a crater like that, you know it's pretty fucking bad. Almost looking like Yamcha, man. You won't. You won't. These are delusions. You're trying to convince yourself. Nah, uh 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 In fact, I'd say she regained herself from season two when she was hanging out with the spirits and actually changing. Toka. Do something. Fucking invert right now. Yo, bring bring out um what, what do you guys call it? You call it a tenka, right? Tenka. Yeah! Show me Nahima again. I, well, it's either that or Yuzuru dies. Come on now. Come on now. Even for her meaning, even for Origami still, right? Maybe she can just take the powers back somehow? I don't understand how powers are given back to the spirits sometimes. Because I thought it's like mental instability that leads to it. But if the astral dress is more defined like this, then she has her powers back. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you guys are rivals though, kind of. Huh? <laughs> I, I never liked you. Oh. I still... Don't die, Origami. That's up to you. Full power, Toka. I don't know if she's full power, but it looks like she's gotten a lot of power back, right? This will be interesting. Okay. I mean, you could argue that Origami is kind of tired because she did 1v4. Oh, her suit's all... Oh, her suit's all zappy. Great angle camera, man. Whoa. But everybody else, though. That's a crazy AoE attack. I'm just gonna believe that everybody else is safe and didn't get hit by that. 
Yo, hearing Origami scream like this in battle is so weird to me because, you know, she never really shouts like that. No, but who was it really? Huh? What's up with her eyes? I think this is the result of her using two... The blow was CGI, but she's actually taking a lot of damage because, like, the suit... Remember with the Manas case, too? Like, it's so damaging on your body. We saw an example of that last season with Jessica, right? I think that's what's happening to Origami right now. Who was this? How did you survive that AoE explosion? Why do I feel like Origami is about to get a power up, dude? What, what the fuck is going on right now? No! Who? Hey, hey, you remember season one? When Shido first met Toka and woke up in front of Reine, there was a voice that said, I'll never, I'll not, there was some, I forget exactly what she said, but I'll, I'll never let you go again or something, remember? The voice is different, but that's the only thing I can guess right now. Is this Phantom? Phantom. Phantom is giving Origami the powers to turn a human into spirit then, right? Holy shit, she's actually getting a power up. Now you're... Spirit? Look at her eyes, let's see her pupil, let's see her pupil. Yo, her astral dress better be sick. Hmm? A new spirit power. Oh, fuck. Holy... It's Master Sergeant! Was... Westcott planned all this? Westcott wanted Origami to push herself to the extent where she would turn into a spirit, maybe? Westcott knows Phantom? Uh, terrier? I thought it's territory. <laughs> Ter <laughs> no, territory. <laughs> oh, why, why are we... Sudden... When this soundtrack starts playing, you know this is some... Just some random bullshit that's gonna happen. What? We were in such an epic dramatic moment. What? She was fucking faking it, waiting for a kiss, wasn't she? Hand placement. Hand. God, what happened to Origami transforming? What happened to the epic battle? What is this? What? This break. Okay, here we are. We're back. We're back. We're back. Origami's astral dress. But can she live with herself? Is she turned into the being that she wants to get rid of? Holy shit. Yeah, she's a spirit now. What about that form? Her eyes. White, white, spirit. Yo, why is, why is the boss theme playing? <laughs> Actual boss soundtrack is playing, bro. Dude, what is in our head? Some kind of like crown? Whoa. Metatron. Okay, how does she know instinctively what to call her angel? I kind of always wondered that. Like, who names this shit? I don't know. Don't worry about it. Bro, you just summoned an angel. What do you mean? You don't know what he's going... She's fine with it. As long as this power will kill other spirits. Mm. I thought that maybe if she realized that she's a spirit, maybe she'd be like, you know what, maybe I'm not so different after all. Maybe she would do that, but... Metatron. What is this? Light particles? Big AoE attack? Are they gonna attack like bullets? Go back! Don't... Ah. Why are they teasing us, man? Okay. Hi, I don't know what her powers are doing though. Like, she knows how to use her angel. Just how do you know what to call your powers by? Like, obviously she hasn't mastered it. I don't know. Maybe it just comes pre-built, man. A lot of different techniques she's calling. Kind of like Kurumi, right? Oh, a, a punch will work. I. Are all right. Oh, big scabbard. Cut it? Yeah, big sword. We haven't seen this in a while. We're beyond talking, man. We gotta fight it out. 
Can Shido really? If anyone could do it, it's gotta be Shido. Shido versus Origami. Would Origami fight Shido? It's been a while since she's Toka's used this. In fact, I think the last time was actually in season one, where she went all out and just bonked Origami to almost death. Shido, someone gotta stop them. No, you can't. There it is. No, don't stop, guys. Just fucking fight. I wanna see what happens. You fucking tell me, man. Don't run away! Get back here! Uh, Alright, bye. Until next time. Hmm. She still has... Her feelings for Shido is strong enough where she'll back out like this. But... Is it really enough to prevent her? No, she's gonna continue attacking. Her Astro dress is really cool, though. It's a great design. I love the veil around. It's like a big crown, but not just on her head. It's like all above. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I will never let another spirit harm humans so that other kids won't feel the same way I did. Proceeds to destroy the entire fucking town. Well, were they all evacuated? Was there a, was there a space quake alarm? I forget. <laughs> Alright, whatever, whatever. It's kind of contradicts, but I, I like the design, especially those two right there. Kurumi? Kur Kurumi? Kur Kurumi? There's a clock. She said nightmare. Kurumi? Are you around? No. Come on, I want to see Kurumi, man! It's the same case with Kotori. The phantom giving the power, a human turning into a spirit. How did Natsumi get her powers? Good job, Origami! Look at all these innocent people's homes destroyed! You're not even ugly. I don't understand this complex. You look totally fine. No, we need the powers right now. Should they need the... Here's the thing though, right? Exactly. Ceiling is important when they're out of control, but it really sucks when they can't fight, for example, against Origami without any powers. Hmm? She's waiting for it. Close her eyes and everything. It's just unfortunate that we have to keep sealing them because it kind of sucks. I mean, I guess she can technically... Are they peeking? <laughs> They're all peeking. But, uh... Ha! Gotcha. But, um... I guess Origami... I mean, uh... Toka could technically... Teach her. Uh, we're cosplaying, don't worry. Toka could just take the powers back like this time, yeah? post credit scene. Kurumi! Wait, wait! Finally! Where are you? Where? What are you doing? You're just fucking playing in the, the streets at night? We need you! What is she doing? I hope she comes back to clutch for us again. Huh? What do you got me? So I guess Kurumi did show up before the transition. Uh, you know when she was looking at the clock. Oh shit! You're gonna fight Kurumi though? She can't beat that. At last, Kurumi shows up, and it looks like Origami wants that heat, but I don't think she can fight, especially after she's tired. Uh, Nightmare versus Origami, this isn't gonna go well. I wonder what Origami's code name's gonna be. I don't know, she, she's wearing like a, the queen. I don't know, she's got a big crown and everything. Origami changing. Dude, the moment she was like down for the count and she was like, oh, if only I had power, it's like immediately. My shonen brain, it's like, oh yeah. This is the classic character monologue of, if only I had power, I need the power. And then an unknown entity is like, do you wish to have power? It's so good. It's cliche, but it's so good, man. Origami has turned into a spirit. She's pretty powerful, but Toka was keeping up pretty well. In fact, it was. it's kind of at, at the end there before Shido broke them apart. It's kind of hard to tell who would have won, right? But it's not only that. Well, technically, I was going to say Toka could turn inverted and then fight that Origami, but then technically every spirit can turn or inverted. So I don't know about that. Now, a thing I've been really wondering, not just the name of why Toka is the only one that we name, but because she's a spirit, obviously, right? And other humans that turn into spirits, such as Miku, and I guess Natsumi, and now Origami, and Kuru? I don't know how this works. Why? I, I, am I looking too deep into things about these naming schemes and human turn hybrids? That voice, you know, the, uh, the phantom that we're calling it right now, right? In season one, I distinctly remember episode one. We fought, no, was it episode one, one or two? I forget. But Shido basically, remember, we were trying to go to Kotori because we promised we'd meet at Danny's and then Kotori wasn't there. Toka comes down and Shido does a bunch of stuff with Toka and then he passes out. 
But before waking up, there's a voice that he hears. Something about, I'll never let you go. Again. There's a very eerie, creepy voice. That's the only thing that I can really think to myself when this phantom's voice showed up. Now, did Westcott know all of this? The Westcott wasn't just, when she said, let's see how much we can push her, right? Let's see how much we can test her. Did he really plan on Origami getting in, like turned into a spirit? There's just so many questions, but slowly we're getting some answers. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.